Welcome back to another edition of the Atlanta Braves Prospect Profile, a mini-series we do here within the Atlanta Braves franchise where we go over top prospects from AA Mississippi up to AAA Gwinnett. Last time we went over number one prospect in the Braves organization, Ozzie Albies, the second baseman, and now we are going to be going over the number three prospect in all of the Braves organization, left-handed pitcher Colby Allard. So Colby Allard is 19 years old. He was a first round pick in 2015. He went 14th overall and he went 14th overall because he had an injury, he had a stress reaction in his back and that caused scouts to be concerned. So he fell all the way down to 14th, mid, mid first round. He was projected to be more of a higher pick, but I'm sure the Braves were happy getting him at 14. Like I said, he's only 19 years old, and he was drafted in 2015. So he was drafted in high school. He's still really young. He still has tons of room to improve. He's an A potential in the game, 61 overall. And he's currently with Double A in Mississippi. Stands 6'1", 180 pounds. He's got a four-seam fastball, a changeup, and a curveball. And the four-seam fastball usually sits anywhere from 91 to 93 miles per hour. He can pump it up a little bit faster than that if he really wants to. His changeup is usually around 83 miles per hour. And then his curve is usually anywhere from 81 to 83. And as of right now in AA, he's not having the best of seasons. He's got a bit of a control issue, and his ERA is kind of inflated. Uh, he's 2-2 two and two with a 4.05 ERA, not the best ERA you want to see there. 26.2 innings pitch, 26 strikeouts. Those numbers aren't bad, the innings pitch and strikeout ratio. But in those 26 and two-third innings pitched, he has 19 walks, which is definitely not what you want to see from this uh, young prospect of a pitcher, you want to see him cut down on those walks as he moves along with his uh, minor league season. So he does have those three pitches, the four-seam fastball, the changeup, and the curve. And the four-seam fastball is graded as a 60, which is a plus pitch. It is a uh, cutter-like movement, as I've seen listed on scouting reports. They don't have it as a cutter in the game, but they do have it as a cutter-like movement on a lot of the scouting reports I've seen on him. Uh, the curveball is listed as a 60 grade curveball, which is also a plus curveball. I've seen it described as one of the best curveballs in the big leagues. I'm not in the big leagues, one of the best curveballs in the minor leagues, one of the better curveballs in the minor leagues. And then the changeup is a 55 grade, which is above average. So all three of his pitches are definitely slated to be quality pitches. Of course, the fastball and curveball being 60 grade, they're projected to be the best ones. And then the changeup being an above average rating. MLB.com also has him scouted as a 55 grade overall and a 55 grade control. Now, the control's not really showing so far in double A here, as he has, like I said, 19 walks in 26 and a two third innings. But, uh, I mean, you'll see the footage that you're seeing in this gameplay. The guy is definitely mowing people down. I was able to control his pitches. Now, I mean, it is only double A. You don't know how that would perform at the major league level or even the triple A level, because there definitely is a jump in talent from those levels. Uh, definitely from double A to the majors. But he still is projected to be a top half of the rotation starter. And I don't think he's going to be up in the big leagues this season. Like I said, he's only 19. He's in double A right now. He's only a 61 overall. He does have the A potential, so he can improve quite a bit this season. But I wouldn't really expect him to be in the major leagues at this point this season. He'll probably just have the entire year to develop still in the minor leagues. And then next year, depending on the situation of the, of the starting rotation, he might possibly be able to squeak in there at the bottom of the rotation as a spot. Or he could just start the year down in triple A and then work his way up possibly halfway through the season. Because there, there are a couple of guys who are kind of more developed than him who could be taking place in the rotation next year, like Luke Jackson or Matt Whistler or uh, Aaron Blair or those guys. As far as the MLB player comparison goes on Colby Allard, I've looked around different scouting reports, and I think the one that I agree with the most is John Lester. And that's mainly because, one, he's a lefty, obviously. Colby Allard's also a lefty. Two... His fastball has a cutter-like motion. Lester throws more of a intentional cutter. He has like a cutter and he has a fastball. He has a sinker. He's got a curve and a change. So he's basically got three different types of fastballs with that fastball, the cutter, and then the sinker. While Colby Allard, he has a more of just his fastball has a cutting-like motion. I'm doing air quotes right now on it, as I've seen described in multiple scouting reports. Uh, in the game, you're probably not going to see much of that cutting-like action on because it's not actually listed as a cutter in-game. But 
that's what it says on the scattering reports. That's what I'm relaying to you. So I would say John Lester is probably a pretty good player comp to him. Lefty, cutting like action on his fastball. That's a pretty good comparison, in my opinion. So with that being said, that's going to wrap things up here for this prospect profile of Colby Allard, the number three prospect in the Braves organization, left-handed pitcher. I've been your host, Jersey Bourne, and I'm saying goodbye. I never thought that it'd be